This tutorial provides examples of how to load Pandas data frames into TensorFlow. You will use a small heart disease dataset provided by the UCI Machine Learning Repository. There are several hundred rows in the CSV. Each row describes a patient, and each column describes an attribute. You will use this information to predict whether a patient has heart disease, which is a binary classification task. Download the CSV file containing the heart disease dataset. Read the CSV file using Pandas. This is what the data looks like. You will build models to predict the label contained in the target column. If your data has a uniform data type, or type, it's possible to use a Pandas data frame anywhere you could use a number py array. This works because the Pandas Data frame class supports the underscore underscore array underscore underscore protocol and TensorFlow's tf.convert underscore to underscore tensor function accepts objects that support the protocol. Take the numeric features from the dataset, skip the categorical features for now. The data frame can be converted to a number py array using the data frame dot values property or numpy dot array df. To convert it to a tensor, use tf.convert underscore to underscore tensor. In general, if an object can be converted to a tensor with tf.convert underscore to underscore tensor, it can be passed anywhere you can pass a tf tensor. A data frame, interpreted as a single tensor, can be used directly as an argument to the model.fit method. Below is an example of training a model on the numeric features of the dataset. The first step is to normalize the input ranges. To set the layer's mean and standard deviation before running it be sure to call the normalization.adapt method. Call the layer on the first three rows of the data frame to visualize an example of the output from this layer. Use the normalization layer as the first layer of a simple model. When you pass the data frame as the X argument to model.fit, Keras treats the data frame as it would a number py array. If you want to apply tf.data transformations to a data frame of a uniform type, the dataset.from underscore tensor underscore slices method will create a dataset that iterates over the rows of the data frame. Each row is initially a vector of values. To train a model, you need inputs, labels, pairs, so pass, features, labels, and dataset.from underscore tensor underscore slices will return the needed pairs of slices. When you start dealing with heterogeneous data, it is no longer possible to treat the data frame as if it were a single array. TensorFlow tensors require that all elements have the same type. So, in this case, you need to start treating it as a dictionary of columns, where each column has a uniform type. A data frame is a lot like a dictionary of arrays, so typically all you need to do is cast the data frame to a Python dict. Many important TensorFlow APIs support nested, dictionaries of arrays as inputs. TF.data input pipelines handle this quite well. All TF.data operations handle dictionaries and tuples automatically. So, to make a dataset of dictionary examples from a data frame, just cast it to a dict before slicing it with dataset.from underscore tensor underscore slices. Here are the first three examples from that dataset. If you're passing a heterogeneous data frame to Keras, each column may need unique pre-processing. You could do this pre-processing directly in the data frame, but for a model to work correctly, inputs always need to be pre-processed the same way. So, the best approach is to build the pre-processing into the model. In this dataset, some of the integer features in the raw data are actually categorical indices. These indices are not really ordered numeric values. Because these are unordered, they are inappropriate to feed directly to the model. The model would interpret them as being ordered. To use these inputs, you'll need to encode them either as one-hot vectors or embedding vectors. The same applies to string categorical features. Binary features, on the other hand, do not generally need to be encoded or normalized. Start by by creating a list of the features that fall into each group. The next step is to build a pre-processing model that will apply appropriate pre-processing to each input and concatenate the results. This section uses the Keras functional API to implement the pre-processing. You start by creating one tf.keras. 
Input for each column of the data frame. For each input you'll apply some transformations using Keras layers and TensorFlow Ops. Each feature starts as a batch of scalars, shaped sad phase batch. The output for each should be a batch of tf.float32 vectors, shaped sad phase batch, n. The last step will concatenate all those vectors together. Since the binary inputs don't mean any pre-processing, just add the vector axis, cast them to float32 and add them to the list of pre-processed inputs. Like in the earlier section, you'll want to run these numeric inputs through a tf.keras.layers normalization layer before using them. The difference is that this time they're input as a dict. The code below collects the numeric features from the data frame, stacks them together and passes those to the normalization.adapt method.